Tonight we're in Greys in Essex and this is Question Time. Welcome to you at home, welcome to our audience here and of course to our panel. Tonight, the Conservative Health Secretary, Jeremy Hunt. The Labour MP running for the leadership of his party from the left, Jeremy Corbyn. The senior editor of The Economist, Anne McElvoy. The comedian, Shapik Osandi. And the author and spectator contributor, Douglas Murray. Now, we've got uh, Jeremy Hunt here. We've got a question from Patricia Cleverly, please. Or Cleverly, is it? Cleverly. Cleverly. Thank <laughs> you, Patricia. Would it be a good idea to charge for missed appointments at the doctor's surgery? Would it be a good idea to charge? So I think it should be down to maybe a case-by-case -case All right. Jer Jeremy Hunt, would you like to see an element of charging in that sense in the NHS? Well, I think... Patricia's question is incredibly important because uh, we are very stretched for resources. Doctors and nurses work incredibly hard. And we're going to have a million more over 70s by the end of this parliament. And you know, if we're going to square the circle and have a fantastic NHS despite all those pressures, then we have to take personal responsibility for the way that we use NHS resources. I, I don't actually have a problem in principle with the idea of charging people for missed appointments. Um, I think in practical terms it could be difficult to do, but I've taken a step, if you like, towards that this week by announcing that uh, when people do miss an appointment, they will be told how much that's cost the NHS as a first step. I've also said that all medicines costing over £20 uh, will put the price on the outside of the medicine pack and it'll say paid for by the UK taxpayer so that people understand that. You don't um, think they'll say, oh, I have more of that, it's valuable. <laughs> well, what I, really hope it, what I really hope it will do is make sure that they actually take the medicines, because I think it was Hippocrates who said, the best doctor for your condition is yourself. And actually, I think if people mm. knew how much the medicines were, they might be more diligent in taking the medicines on time. And, and in the end, we, that would, of course, help people stay out of hospital. So I think there's lots of things we can do, but we do need the public's help if we're going to tackle these challenges. And the great thing about the NHS, it belongs to all of us. And actually, the public want to help. But on this particular thing, the missed appointments, we can do a lot better. OK. And, and the woman here. And then I come to you, Douglas, briefly. Yes. I'm a general practitioner, and I'd just like to address a point that's um, indirectly and both directly um, uh, related to this. So 60,000 missed appointments per day in the UK, 60,000, that's 300,000 appointments a week. The vast majority of my patients and all my colleagues' patients are responsible, they come on time, and you're absolutely right, Mr. Corbyn, most people do have a good reason for not coming. It is not reconcilable with um, the idea of the concept of the NHS that we can charge for such appointments, yeah, but yeah. these people do need to know. The signs and the surgery, they're only read by the people who turn up for their appointments, <laughs> may I just point out. <laughs> and, and, and I'm sorry, um, if I may just add a, a, a second point, um, again, as uh, indirectly related, it is inconceivable that the seven-day rollout that you're proposing is... It's just not viable. Right. I'm sorry, it's not common that's sense. That's why I said we need 5,000 more GPs. That's actually, better. actually, you said clinicians. Can you tell us, actually, yeah, are those clinicians that. going to be doctors? Yeah. No, I said 10,000 extra clinicians, including and around 5,000 extra GPs. And where are you getting well, them from, Mr Hunt? Because it are, takes 12 years to train a general practitioner. So how are you going to uh, project them by your, well, by we, your target? We, no one, no one wants to be GP anymore. Sorry, to, you can't have it both ways. In the last parliament, we actually increased the number of GPs by 1,700. Um, we did manage to find those extra GPs. And in this parliament, we've said we'll do it by 5,000. It's not going to be easy, but we think we need it. And I'm determined to... I, thought a, I thought as a GP, you should welcome that. Because what you're saying is that you don't have enough GPs to do the work that uh, you would like to do and to give the patients the time you want to give them. And we want to solve that problem. You're driving us all out of the country, Mr Hunt. Most of us are in New Zealand. I'm not. I have family here. I have reasons to be here. But there are people jumping ship every day. I'm sorry. On the day that you announced your new deal, many, many, many GPs across this country handed in their resignation that day. Do you know all that? All right. OK. Well, I'm sure, I'm yeah. sure the news that. gets through. <laughs> that was my... That was very good. I want to get another question. Um, 
Just very quickly, I mean, going back to the gentleman at the back, you mentioned that about MPs.